Hey everyone, in my recent job hunt, I have been interviewed at many companies. In this video, we'll be solving a question that was asked in one of the interviews. So the interviewer asked me to create a tic-tac-toe game using ReactJS. And in my 2021 job hunt as well, this question was asked in one of the interviews. And in React official documentation as well, this question was mentioned as an example. So just understand how important this question is. So I have created a blog on this question and I'll be attaching the link to the blog in the description. And without wasting much time, let's start coding this particular uh, tic-tac-toe game. I have been creating the playlist on the most asked interview questions. So stay tuned by subscribing to the channel to get the latest interview questions content. And uh, yeah, let's understand what this particular tic-tac-toe game is, okay? So here there will be a nine boxes, okay? And there will be two players playing this particular game where X and O will be the players. And each and every player will get a chance to click on a box and that particular box will turn to either X or O based on the particular player. And once all of the, you know, once uh, three of the boxes are with the same particular player, then that particular player will be the winner. Let's say if X gets, uh, you know, X, if X places, uh, if X presses on this particular box and this and this, then the X will be the winner. Or this, this way, then the X will be the winner. And let's start coding this particular uh, tic-tac-toe game, okay? And to create this particular tic-tac-toe game, we kind of need to create nine boxes uh, similar way, okay? And um, and we need to do some other manipulation as well, but let's start, uh, you know, creating this particular nine boxes for, uh, firstly, okay? So let me create one box and uh, let me iterate over that particular box for nine times, okay? So let me create this particular box where I'll kind of have a button um, here and I'll kind of have this button as a square okay so let me style this let me have a class name as a square let me put x here and let me style this in a square format okay um let me put width as 100 pixel and height as 100 pixel okay and let me kind of sh show this particular box over here yeah it is uh showing it properly so now what we need to do means we need to kind of create nine such boxes so to create nine boxes what i'm going to do is I'm going to create an array of nine elements, okay? And I'll kind of iterate over the nine elements, right? And I'll show a box for each and every element, okay? And if you observe, we have X or O in different, different boxes. Let's say I'll have an array with a kind of, you know, X or O in that particular index, if it contains, okay? So I'll kind of create a board array okay set board use state with array of nine elements okay nine elements and in the initial phase i'll be filling all those elements with null first okay now i'll kind of iterate over my array okay i'll iterate over my array map in um mapping of b and then index okay let's say and this so this particular um, box i'll be written in here okay so nine elements so nine boxes i'm written over here and I wanted these nine boxes, three in each row, right? So that it will look like a tic-tac-toe game, okay? So to achieve that, what I'm going to do is I'll kind of uh, uh, give a class name um, as board, okay? And this particular board, I'll be kind of giving so here what i'll be doing means i'll kind of give 
width of this board as 300 okay 300 i'll give width so that only three elements will be be fitting here and i'll also wrap these elements so that all of these elements will be together stick it together okay so what i'll be doing i'll be kind of giving this board with the width as width as 300 pixel okay and then i'll kind of wrap these elements properly i'll be kind of wrapping these elements flex wrap wrap okay and now what i'll be doing means for each and every box right i'll have this on click listener and when once i click on it that should be changed to either you know either um, x or o right so here this one what i'll be doing means for each and every element that i click okay so here i'll have i'll kind of pass index okay index from this place so what i'll be doing means uh, i'll be passing a box index index over here and i'll pick this particular box and i'll have a on click on click and and whatever that particular block this particular box and i'll handle handle click with that particular box so whatever box i press on that particular box index i'm sending over here and i'm sending that particular box index to this handle click as well okay so that we will know what what box we are pressing on so i'll be creating this particular handle click method here okay where i'll be having index to the box okay now what i'll be doing means i'll kind of set that particular index of the box to any of the element whether it's it can be x or o okay uh, now here I'm, I'm kind of showing x by default but here what i'll be doing means i'll kind of show whatever whatever our board index board box is present i'll be kind of showing here so our board is filled with empty null first so i'll be kind of showing null in the initial phase once i click on any element right i'll kind of change my board with that particular element in that particular index right so when i kind of you know uh, change that element that particular element will be reflected here right so i'll be creating new board with my old board elements and then i'll be kind of setting my new board index with let's say x for now okay i'll be setting this and then i'll be updating my total board with our new board elements so yeah this way i can update that particular element let me press on it so each and every element is being uh, changed to x so to handle this properly what i'll be doing means here i'm sending the index okay and then that particular index i need to pick and that particular index okay here i need to change it properly and then let me save it and let's click on it yeah so if you see it is uh, working as expected now here there is some mismatch with her or squares are moving around so what i can do means i'll say i wrapped it properly but then i haven't given display flex to it 
so yeah i have given display flex to this now let's see yeah this is working as expected now if you see first player is x when i click on the second box it should be o right so to achieve that what we'll do means we'll create a state variable is x a state variable and set is x i'll be setting u state u state is true for the first time okay now now if it is x if it is x in that case i'll set it with x else i'll set it with o else i'll set it with o okay now let me save it and see okay i need to kind of you know once i click on that particular element i need to change it to false also so to do that what i can do is is x i'll do okay i'll kind of make it true or false e for each and every click so now let me um, reload it and let me check this scenario yeah so if you see it is working as expected now what we need to do means we need to check for each and every click we do we need to check whether a winner is decided or not right so to do that what i'll do i'll kind of call a function okay i'll kind of call a function is winner function i'll kind of call over this particular click where this particular winner what it does it will check whether a winner is present in that click or not so how do we check this means here if if the boxes you know if these particular boxes are present with the same player x then this x is a winner if these particular boxes are with same winner then that particular box uh, you know player will be the winner similarly there will be different kinds of you know uh, lines where the winners will be present this line is also a winner this line winner this line winner these three lines say this line with same player will be a winner so that way we will be able to know who will be the winner right so here what i'll be doing is i'll create a constant where an array will be present in which if zeroth index first index and second index contains zeroth index first index and second index contains the same player then that player will be the winner and similarly i'll contain all the lines where the winner can be decided let's say this line right this line zeroth index and third index and sixth index if this index contains the same player then that player will be the winner similarly this this place and this place this place and this place right and this line and this line as well if these lines contains the same player then that player will be the winner right so i'll just you know copy you know, from our code where these are the lines different scenarios where the winner will be present so let me copy this scenarios where the winner will be present and what i'll be doing i'll be iterating over my lines okay i'll be iterating over my lines and i'll check you know win scenarios i'll check each and every array elements indexes with my board elements if zeroth element of my board and oneth element of my board and twoth element of my board contains the same player then that is a winner scenario so i'll do this where constant win in this win three elements are present so i'll take those three elements in a b and c okay and what i'll do means i'll check if my board if my board contains a 
if my board contains a index right if my board contains a index and if my board a th index and if my board b th index are of same player in that case and if my board a th index and c th index are of same player c th index are of same player in that case i'll say that that particular player is winner because b th index and c th index will also be the same right so what i'll do i'll kind of the return that particular player as winner okay here that particular player will be the winner and and if if after iterating all of these lines if no player no winner is found then i'll be returning null from this particular place okay now i'll check this okay let me reload this i'll create new state variable here on constant not set now use state let's give null in the initial phase and here what we are going to do means here we'll be setting our new winner okay in this particular we will have the new winner and and now whoever the winner will be we need to kind of show that particular winner on top of this space so what we'll be doing means we'll be kind of showing the winner over here okay now winner would be this particular winner winner so if you see there is some issues here as we have the flex over on top of this place so let me put it on top of this okay so let me have it here let me save it so whoever the winner will be the those will be visible here so now we will recheck once again here we will be calling our winner function so let's uh, you know pass the new board from this place itself uh, and we'll pass this board board here and we'll get it here and we'll set it yeah uh, uh let me save it and let's see x zero x zero x so the winner is declared here and also when we click on x again it shouldn't again reset to zero or the o so to do that what we can do means here if if that particular board contains some you know some x or zero right that particular board board contains uh, something x or zero in that case we shouldn't do anything instead we'll just return and also if a winner is declared right here winner is declared we shouldn't again uh, able to press on anything right because winner is being changed so in that case what we'll do winner is present in that case also we should directly return let me reload it and check all the scenarios x zero x zero x winner is declared now i shouldn't be able to press on this zero if so that uh, the winner won't be changed yeah everything works as expected now the game is completed i've been creating this interview playlist so please do subscribe to my channel